everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a declutter of my bronzers, as well as my contours. We'll do that after. We'll start with bronzers because it's the bigger category. There are a few in here I definitely can get rid of. I'm not sure actually if I can do 50%, just because I really do have a bit of a thing for cheap products, but I will try and get rid of at least 30%. I think that's a good goal. I've got so many, they can't even fit into frame. So let's start with this product. This is the NARS, oh this is actually a contouring duo in the shade Olympia. However, I found that this color actually worked a bit better as a bronzer for me because it is quite sort of rosy and warm toned as you can see. However, I never reach for this, so I'm definitely gonna give that to a new home. I'm also going to declutter this e.l.f. bronzer. I actually really liked this, but you can see it's kind of getting hard pan so easily and even though I could scrape it off and keep using it I've just got so many other bronzers I'd rather use so this one's gonna go I know I'm gonna get rid of this one this is the too cool art class by Rodin this is again marketed as a contour but I think it's a little bit more like a cool toned bronzer wasn't really a huge fan of it it didn't really last throughout the day so I'm gonna get rid of that one I'm gonna keep my Marc Jacobs 104 Tantastic Omega Bronze. This is like very famous. I love this bronzer. It's got a slight ready sort of tone to it, but it also leans a little cool. It's actually a really beautiful color, very flattering. If you've got really fair skin like mine, this does work, especially I use quite a big fluffy brush, so I find that it helps. It's actually quite thin, so it fits in a travel makeup bag really well. And you've got this awesome, awesome mirror. Check out my plants. Hey girls, hey. So it's awesome for travel. If you want to take this to like do your makeup in at a hotel or something, if the lighting's bad. I'm also going to keep this. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzet in the shade one. This is one of my favorite bronzers ever. I think it won the top award in my Anna Awards last year. It's just the most beautiful kind of satin bronzer. I really, really do thrash this. I love it. I have to order this shade from the US because they don't sell it in Australia, but I think they have them on eBay. So definitely recommend that one. I'm gonna keep this little Annabelle Perfect Bronze. This isn't, again, my favorite kind of tone of bronzer. It's a little bit deep, but if I use it with a light hand, it's okay. And I'm planning to use this in my Canadian makeup tutorial, so I want to hold on to that at least until I've done that video. I'm gonna hold on to my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Nude Bronze Light. This is such a beautiful bronzer for fair skin especially, and they have deeper shades if you've got a deeper complexion. It's softly pigmented in a good way, and it's got this lovely sort of sheen running through it because of the ambient lighting powder that sort of marbles through. Absolutely love this one, would highly recommend it. I have two of the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzers. One of them is in bronzer, and this one is in light bronzer. You can see that I've used light bronzer actually a lot more when you compare the two, bronzer is slightly darker, like a fraction darker, and it has a little bit more of a cool sort of tone to it. So I actually prefer the shade bronzer, and I got this after I'd already owned light bronzer for a while. So I'm going to declutter light bronzer and hold on to bronzer. Also, my packaging on the light bronzer one is like broken, so I'm going to get rid of this ColourPop bronzer. This I got for my ColourPop full face tutorial, but I just was really kind of like meh about it. It was fine, but I wasn't like over the moon about it. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to get rid of this Essence Mosaic Compact Powder. This is in the shade 01 Sunkissed Beauty. I wanted to love this because it looked quite fair. Like when you swatch it, it comes out quite a light sort of bronze color, but there's actually chunks of glitter in it which I just don't really like when there's like chunky bits of glitter in my face products. I don't mind a sheen. In fact, I love a sheen. Even a shimmer is good. I just do not like glitter. I'm going to get rid of my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil, which is a bit sad, but this is actually the second one I've had of these, and I much, much, much prefer the original formula. They changed the formula when they changed the packaging, and I must say, I do think the packaging is really beautiful, but the formula of it just doesn't perform like it used to, and it also doesn't have a nice scent anymore. The scent of it smells like like kind of like chocolate liqueur rather than like cocoa powder, which I much prefer. Definitely gonna keep my Body Shop Honey Bronzer. This is one of my favorite bronzers. It is a matte bronzer, but it just performs so well. It blends so seamlessly, <laughs> except the packaging's terrible, as you can see. I've just had it for a while, so it's all sort of perished, but it does actually snap shut and still like stays together once it's actually clipped shut. It's just that when you open it, the lid entirely comes off. Then we have these Rimmel Sun Shimmer Bronzers. Now, I can't quite remember what I thought of these. I think I'll let these go. This, just the color it tones in this was not quite right. I got them quite cheap and at Priceline sale, so it's not the end of the world. This is the Makeup Geek Sun Kissed Bronzer. I don't even know if they sell this anymore, but it's actually such a nice product. It's got a really, really subtle sheen through it and the tone of it is really nice. 
Yeah, well, I think I might keep it because I'm doing pretty well. I'm going to get rid of this Anika Baked Mineral Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed. This was okay, but perhaps a little bit warm for me in terms of tone, but the formula of it is really beautiful. It's a very sort of smooth formula. It's got a very subtle sheen to it, but it's not a glowy bronzer. So it is a lovely formula, but I just don't love the tone on my complexion. This should actually probably be my contour pile because that's kind of what I used it for. It's the Physician's Formula Matte Sculpting Bronze Booster. While I really, really, really like the contour powder in this, the bronze is just not a very good shade for me. It's much too dark, too warm, and this light sort of matte shade is just like a cream shadow basically. And I think I know I've got lots of contours that are very similar to this. Therefore, I think I will actually declutter this little palette because I'm just not going to get the use out of it. It's not worth really keeping just for that middle shade when I've got other contours that I really love. So I'll get rid of that. Oh my gosh, I'm keeping this and I'm treasuring this. This is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze Bronzer in Fair to Light. They've discontinued this product. Can we all cry? Because it is honestly one of the best satin bronzers ever. It's got that really beautiful, soft, subtle sheen to it. It's super smooth in formula. The color of Fair to Light is really nice. It's sort of quite a neutral tone, so it is warm. It will bring warmth to your skin obviously it's not like a contour but it just doesn't look orange when it's actually like blended out onto the skin it's so beautiful i know so many of you have bought it on my recommendation and love it we're all just a bit sad that it's been discontinued but if you can find it at tj maxx i know they were selling it for a really big discount there so maybe check your local tj maxx i'm gonna get rid of this mecca max bronzer this is the sunlit skin bronzer and lights this was actually quite nice i did Kind of enjoy this one but i think it's quite similar to the bare minerals one which i prefer so i'd rather get rid of that one and keep my bare minerals then we have this little bobby brown mini shimmer brick this is in the shade bronze so this is actually meant to be like a highlighter for deeper skin tones but it actually can make quite a nice bronzer if you sort of blend the colors together it's like a really shimmery bronzer i haven't had much of a chance to try this because i got it like kind of only recently i think it was over the holiday period i might hold on to it just to try it out for a while and i'll let you guys know my thoughts i'm gonna hold on to these elf mineral pearls these are in the shade natural this is one of my favorite little bronzers as well they remind me of the like guerlain meteorites and they're really really soft and subtle on the skin they don't look it on the puff if you use a big fluffy brush and just swirl your brush around in here it's the most beautiful soft bronze in fact some people that have bought this on my recommendation thought it wasn't bronzy enough because it's quite subtle but i really like that i think it's nice sometimes to have a less pigmented sort of bronzer that just gives a really soft wash of warmth especially if you're very very fair so i actually love these i'm going to hold on to these I'm going to get rid of this L'Oreal Back to Bronze. This is in the shade 2 Sunkiss. So this is, I think, a little bit too warm for me. And I think it's matte from memory. Yeah, it's a matte bronzer. Just wasn't a huge fan of it. It was perfectly fine, but nothing that I would write home about. We have this Essence Wanted Sunset Dreamers fading bronzer. I loved the look of this. It reminded me of like the Kevin Aquan bronzer. Like most Essence products, though, it was kind of like limited edition. Really hard to get your hands on. I'm not even sure if you can buy it anymore. But I also have just hardly used it. It's sort of one of those products that I bought and then it got shoved in the back of my makeup collection. So I kind of think I might actually hold on to it and just use it for a bit and see whether it's something that I am gravitating towards because I kind of haven't really formed an opinion on it. And then we have the the balm take home the bronze anti-orange bronzer and this is in oliver this is a little bit more of a warmer toned matte bronzer but it is a really nice formula i find that even though it looks as if it's got hard pan it kind of still like is pigmented when you put your finger over it and use your brush so it doesn't really affect the quality of the product as you can see it's like really really pigmented so you do have to be quite light-handed with it but it is a really nice tone of bronzer it's quite neutral but it still adds a bit of warmth i do quite like this one i think i'll keep it so those were all my powdered bronzers i'm keeping 12 and i'm decluttering 13 so i'm doing really well i'm like over 50 percent I have four different cream bronzers here. The one I know I'm absolutely definitely going to keep is this 3CE Style Nanda Blush. And this is in the shade Soft Browns. So this is like a bronzer. This has actually beaten the L'Oreal Glam Bronze now. It is my favorite cream bronzer. I love it. You can buy this from Yes Style. Absolutely keeping that. I actually think I will declutter my L'Oreal as well because I've actually owned this for about three years. I love it. Like it's, it is a really, really good product. But it's just a bit old and because it, it's a cream product, I feel like I probably should let that one go, especially since I found a replacement. And I'm also going to declutter these two because they just didn't quite live up to my expectations. This I'm Cushion Shading by I'm Meme is a Korean brand, I believe. And I got this from YesStyle as well. This just wasn't as good as the 3CE one. I don't know. It sort of just didn't have as much sort of pigment. It's already almost dried up. I just 
wasn't a huge fan of that one. And the Too Faced one, I'm really sad. I really wanted to love this. This is the Bronzed Peach Melting Powder Bronzer. So this is meant to be one of those sort of cream to powder bronzers. And just like looking at it in the packaging, I was like, I think I'm going to be one of the only people that will love this. Like I was determined to love this because not many people did. But I just didn't love how it was cream to powder, I guess. Like I would have preferred it to have just been a really soft cream because I just found it didn't actually give that nice dewy glow that you expect from a cream bronzer. Like that's why you use a cream bronzer and then it didn't really leave a very nice finish in the way of like a powder bronzer so it's just it was too much in the middle it was trying to do both really really sad i actually quite liked the scent of this one and i thought the packaging was just absolutely adorable although i do have a blush from this range that i quite like so i'll probably end up keeping that one so there i'm keeping one and getting rid of three and then we're moving on to contour products so i'm going to separate these out into different categories as well Put cream here, powder. I have quite an even split between cream contours and powdered contours. I really like using both or either depending on my mood and I, this is the category I think I'll struggle a bit to declutter because I definitely have decluttered my contours over the years and I really do like most of these. There's one that I know right off the bat I want to get rid of. It's this Innisfree contouring powder. The shade's written in Korean so I don't 100% know what shade it is but it's just their like little contour powder. Probably shade one I guess. This was just a little bit too warm toned for me for a contour and the actual like texture of it is beautiful it's really really smooth just wasn't the right tone for me to contour with and it wasn't really deep enough to really be a bronzer so passing that one on i think it's also time for my kevin aquan sculpting powder to go i mean look at it guys oh dear i'm holding on to it because it is such a beautiful product and i love like the look of the packaging but that's just stupid so it really served me well for so many years so i'm not too sad about it but Oh. I'm definitely going to keep this little Essence Must Haves eyeshadow in the shade Movie Time. This is a really unique contour colour because it's a little bit more like cool toned and movie as the name would suggest. I'm definitely going to hold on to the LA Girl Just Blushing in the shade Just Because. This is such an awesome formula. So you can see it does look kind of slightly grey toned but it also isn't like really ashy. Like I really like the tone on my complexion. That made it look terrible but that's because my hand's slightly wet from my wet wipes. So don't worry it does blend in beautifully. I really really love this. The packaging's a little bulky but I think for the price and the quality of the actual powder is amazing so definitely keeping that. And I'm going to keep my Rimmel London All About The Base contour powder. This one again is a really nice kind of neutral shade. It is getting a little bit of hard pan but the performance of the product is not really affected yet so I'm at least going to hold on to it and keep using it for the next wee while. Just see how it goes. Now I have this Bobbi Brown Blonde eyeshadow. I'm actually thinking of transferring this into my eyeshadow collection to be honest. I actually think it's the most beautiful product. It's still in really good condition even though I've had it a couple of years. I'm just not reaching for it as a contour product anymore. This is another eyeshadow heroine by Illamasqua which I really love. Yeah I'm just gonna keep that as well. We're doing good. But I think I might actually get rid of NYX taupe blush which is amazing for me to get rid of this but it's just I don't know I don't love it as much as the other ones. I mean this was like one of the first contouring products I ever fell in love with but I just feel like companies are coming out with better ones these days. The actual formula of it is not as good as the other products I was showing before. It's just that the tone of it is really nice. It tends to be why people still use it. But I would encourage people to use the LA Girl one over this for sure. So I think I might declutter that. Moving on to cream and stick formulas. I'm going to pass on this. This was actually sent to me by a subscriber and I really did try to make it work. But it just, I just couldn't. It's not my really cup of tea. It's by this brand. I won't actually attempt to say it but I'll show you. And it's the Eclipse Inner Glow Cream Pigment. When I open it you're like, what? Yes, this is what it looks like. The idea is that you're meant to use this really sparingly as a contour, but I just couldn't really get it to work without looking sort of patchy. Like even if I really tried to like blend it out, it just wasn't my sort of cup of tea. So I really appreciate being able to try it, but I'm gonna pass that one on. But I am gonna keep this little one. This is the Cream Contour in Havana Cream by Australis. They come in these little pans because the idea is that you meant to make up your own pan. I don't want to keep this in with the powdered products from their range. But this is a really nice like contour colour. Like it's really like kind of grey and ashy. Very good if I wanted to use like all cream products. So I'm going to keep that. Oh and then we need to downsize some of these sticks. I'm definitely going to keep the Jordana Sculpt and Go. This is in shade 1. It's got a really nice neutral tone so it doesn't actually look quite as sort of shadowy as others. It can almost add a bit of warmth as well. I'm definitely going to get rid of this the secret key miracle fit contour stick this i didn't get along with at all i just found it to not be a very good formula like it really was quite draggy on the skin so i'm going to pass that one on this is actually a foundation this is the longcom taint adult ultra wear 010 beige porcelain so this is a little bit too deep for me to wear as a foundation 
but the idea was that I could just use it as a contour because it's like slightly deeper but it's kind of not deep enough like it's really in between it's too deep to be a foundation for me but it's like too sort of peachy and just not dark enough to be a contour so I don't know I kind of enjoyed it for a while but then I realized it was kind of doing very little so I'm gonna pass that one on the hilarious thing about this is that I went to an event for the launch of this foundation stick and because they didn't come out with a shade for me that actually matched my complexion they're like here take this and it can be a contour for you and I was like lol and then I think it's time to get rid of my Illamascus gel sculpt and silhouette I actually really love this product I've raved about it for years when I I link this in my description you guys are always like looking at it because I can see like how many people have clicked on my link it looks like black in the tube but then when you actually put it on it's kind of like this you know very very sheer sort of gel it's not performing like it used to though I think it's definitely gone a bit old it's sort of not as uh, it's gone really patchy and stuff so it definitely just doesn't work like it did in its prime but I've owned it for like well over three years so definitely time to move that one out of my collection and then I think I will keep these last two because I do quite like them I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow contour stick foundation I've tried an actual shade of foundation for me and I did not like this at all but this product as a contouring product is awesome it's a little bit more sort of neutrally almost like slightly bronzy so if I want more of a warmer contour this is really good and the same with this Fenty Beauty one this is in the shade amber it's cooler than the Anastasia Beverly Hills one but it's not quite as cool as I think people think when they look at it in the stick but I love the formula of it it's so so nice one of my favorite Fenty Beauty products so for contours I am getting rid of seven but I'm keeping nine so I've gone a little bit over but because I was a wee bit under on my bronzers, I think that's okay. Alrighty, there we go. So those are all the ones that I'm keeping. And then these are all the products that I am passing on. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter. If you are new here, why don't you pop over and check out my channel and see if there's any other videos you want to watch. And you can subscribe as well while you're there. I do have a playlist with my declutters linked in the description too if you're interested. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Guys, I just found this in my highlighter drawer. It's the Mecca Max Glow Powder in Bronze Heat. I actually use this as a bronzer, and yes, I will be keeping that. Just FYI.